are you poor? I'm Kanti Bastayakar from Asia Pacific Management Institute, which was established in 2014 by me and few of my friends. To develop the human resource, irrespective of their age, gender, occupation or the status of social. I want to thank Women Icon for honoring me with this authentic leader title, which is an, another motivating and milestone in my career. And thank you Women Icon, powered by Times Women and Women World Congress. I was born as the third child in the middle class family of five and my mother was a teacher and my father was a small business entrepreneur and political and social activities in the region. The passion which inherited by me to involve in many social projects. I studied at the Guchapur Convent in Kandy and entered into the University of Peradina which is another dream of mine and obtained my degree and the master's degree was obtained by the Postgraduate Institute of Management of Javadarpur University. While I was in New Zealand, I completed a postgraduate diploma in business management from the Auckland University of Technology and further qualified as a professional coach through a certification program conducted by the Federation University in Australia in April 2018. I had been working in the public sector organization until I resigned to migrate to New Zealand in 2010. I joined the public sector as a marketing assistant and climbed up to the career ladder to become the CEO of a state corporation. Even though my specialty is marketing, I ventured into training by default. But now training and development has become my main purpose of life. Managing and marketing products, services and people, I have learned a lot, which made me an expert in customer service, soft skill development and human resource management areas, which led me to collaborate with INGOs such as ADB, UNDP, UNICEF, NIRAS and JBIC from 2014 to date. Presently, I'm working with Skills for Inclusive Growth, an INGO in Australia uh, for this small, scale, uh, small and medium entrepreneur development through business coaching in four provinces in Sri Lanka. At uh, Asia Pacific Management Institute, we are specialized in developing soft skills of the human uh, uh, resources. Uh, to develop this uh, human resource capacity, skills and uh, knowledge, we conduct standard programs as well as the customized programs based on the customer's need. And uh, about uh, 2,400 people uh, would have uh, benefited from the standard programs, whereas uh, indirectly there may be many people who have benefited from the learnings and teaching at the universities. In 2018, the World Human Resource Development Congress has identified Asia Pacific Management Institute as one of the leading training and development provider in Sri Lanka. Based on that research, they awarded me the prestigious title of Women Leaders in Sri Lanka for the year 2018. This made me work more as a knowledge hub, providing the necessary skills and competencies to the changing scope of human resource development. After I obtained my coaching qualification, I joined the prestigious International Association of Coaching, popularly known as IAC, and established a Sri Lankan chapter with their blessing to train and promote coaches in Sri Lanka and now the current president with 14 professionally qualified coaches. To include coaching and mentoring principles to empower the students by learning and experimenting and learning from experiences without memorizing and reproducing what they have learned. We are working closely with the Ministry of Education and conducted many coaching training programs uh, 
to different segments of teachers and principals. We are also involved in providing mental wellness to the victims of the COVID-19 pandemic and conducting many awareness programs. If I may talk about my achievements, the first thing comes to my mind is my success as a change agent. I have been in the training field for the last one and a half decades and was able to unleash many competencies and hidden skills in different people. There are public administrators, students and medical professionals, academics and many more. Even though my role is a trainer, I was a role model for some of them, mentor to the others and a close friend to a few. The way these people inquire about me, talk about me and the love and respect shown is the greatest achievement I have gained in my career. Similarly, I can remember my contribution to the Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing, SLIM, by way of establishing a separate training and development division to use their mandate to further develop corporates and entrepreneurs with marketing, branding and sales management strategies. My passion in social services made me address a very prominent and important issue of child and women abuse. Even though these topics are increasing at an alarming rate, it's considered as a taboo to talk about. So we decided that we should take action. Therefore, we are in the process of creating awareness among this society about protecting our future, our children and their mothers from any sort of violence. I believe in certain values. Number one is the continuous improvement. I always believe that the continuous learning, polishing your skills and building uh, new competencies uh, will take person towards the greatness. Even a gem needs a polish to shine. So sharpening yourself will enable you to remain and grow in the VUCA world which we are facing right now. My second value is the determination and the commitment. If you don't have the determination to uh, complete the task and the commitment to start a com uh, another task, you will never go forward. You may have to face many battles, failures and successes, but never give up on your determination to succeed. Third value is the love and kindness. Love your family friends and the fellow human beings that will take you far away be kind to the nature learn from the challenges they bring forth remember your action will speak about your success my strength comes from my family i wouldn't have come this far without their support my father who did numerous social projects would have instilled that passion to give back something to the society to me. With his guidance, I have started many social activities. And I must mention my husband, Anruddha, without his guidance, I wouldn't have known what the community service or social environment is. He's the one who informed me the differences between these activities and how to go forward. My daughters, Chandiva and Kanchana, are behind me always providing the necessary background support and inquiring about my wellness and correcting me when necessary. Looking after my well-being and admiring me while I make more mistakes. My sweet little granddaughters are there to complete the circle with their concern and love and respect. My advice to the newcomers in the field, be authentic and walk the talk. When the opportunity comes knocking on your door, grab it. Be flexible and adaptable. Believe your gut feeling and believing in yourself, don't ever give up. The success will come towards you if you go behind the success and then grab it to 
suit your requirement. Thank you. Stay safe.